Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned about MediQuant system data table using Laravel and Liveware. In this video, we are going to learn about Power Grid data tables using Laravel and Liveware. Let's go to the official documentation Power Grid data table. Go inside the Liveware Power Grid data table docs. This is the documentation of Power Grid. If you want to check it, check it. For this project, I am going to create a new Laravel project. Laravel new Power Grid demo. Get enter. Let's wait for the installation to be completed. Okay, my install is completed. Now go inside the project. And let's run the project using PHP Artisan Solve. Go to the link. And here is our Laravel application up and running. Now let's go to the live Power Grid docs. Go inside the install section. To use Power Grid, we need PHP 8.0 plus Laravel 8.7.5 plus. Liveware 2.10 plus and we need either Tailwind or Bootstrap and Alpine.js so I need the composer command let's copy this and go inside my project and paste this command and hit it Let's wait for the power grid to be installed in my project. Okay, power grid is now installed successfully in our project. Now let's create a liveware component, which is I'm going to use in viewing my power grid data table. PHP artisan make liveware future table demo PHP artisan make liveware visual table demo and hit enter let's check our resource folder resource view liveware here it is user table demo blender php file now let's create a layout for this liveware file by default liveware uses after blender php so we are going to create the, that file only This is the boilerplate of HTML. Copy the command and paste it. We don't need these optional files. Let's go to the configuration. We need these directives in our project, so let's copy this. Paste inside the head the style directives and copy the script directives. 
and pressed inside the body of the layer file. Okay, we don't need anything of this. If you want to read the documents, you can read. Now let's set up our migration and factory. I'm just uncomment the factory file and uh, increase the size to 100. Let's now seed our database. Before that, I need to configure my database. Let's configure it by going to going inside the env file and change the MySQL to SQLite and comment out all the all other configurations. Now I am ready to seed my database. Since I am using Laravel 9, I don't need to create a database .sqlite file explicitly. It will ask me for creating it our shading is completed now let's create the route for the laravel blade file actually live at blade file so i'm going to create it uh, route get payment pg hyphen future comma future table demo the library file i created okay colon colon class semicolon let me create uh, the magic variable slot inside our layout everything is fine now let's check our route if it is running or not comment out this code copy the path go inside the browser and paste it here and hit enter okay my route and file all are working perfectly fine now now this is the time to create our power grid data table go inside the doc again create a power grid table i need the first command if you want to read all the documents feel free to read it Let's copy the command php artisan power grid create paste inside our project and uh, it will prompt me what is the name I want to give. I, I will give it to user table and the model uh, I'll choose model and user and then yes. I need this directive. Let's copy it and paste it here. Save it. Oh, the styling is very ugly 
let me fix this go to the tailwind css docs and copy the play cdn from there let's copy this and open my vs code and paste the play cdn inside my layout Okay, then I refresh. Uh, my table is working perfectly fine. Let's style a little bit. Okay. Let me change the border radius. Okay, now it looks good. Let's check the target is working or not on the features like uh, let's search something copy this and paste it here okay it is working this is the range selector we can check the range we can search individually like let's search the email and uh, we can range the id like uh, to from 2 to um, 5 We can export the file by checking check the boxes and uh, we can export all or selected let's export all Let's clear all the filters. That is it, guys. Our project data table is ready. You can use it in your project. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.